All right, Russ, thank you. Got to wear a tie when I go to work, but increasingly, I'm one of the very few. Now, for decades, most men wore a tie, but according to a new poll, only 6% of men say they wear a tie to work these days. And just this month, after 60 years, the trade group representing American tie makers shut down. Joining us is Amanda Brooks, contributing ed editor for Men's Vogue. Good morning to you. How are you? Uh, since we're doing a whole lot of singing here this morning, is this the end of the tie? And we I know it. I hope not. I'm more interested in ties than ever. I know a lot of men on the mainstream aren't wearing them today, yeah. but I find a lot more creative guys, downtown, counterculture people yeah. who aren't expected to wear a tie are suddenly finding the space in their lives where they want to wear a tie. Does that number, only 6% of men wearing ties, it sounds a little low? It sounds low to me. I think you don't have to wear a tie in most cases today. Barack yeah. Obama's not wearing a tie half yeah. the time. Casual Fridays has spread to casual Wednesdays and casual yeah. Mondays. And I, I do believe that there are not a lot of men in the mainstream wearing yeah. ties. And Patrick Dempsey, the man on the cover of your magazine, this month doesn't have a tie not on wearing a tie. as well. Right, let's go a little fashion show right now and let's uh, recap some of the fashion trends in ties right now. Let's bring out our first model who's got a knit tie on. What, what's the deal with a knit tie? This is a look for a guy who doesn't have to wear a tie but chooses to wear a tie. Yeah. Could be an architect, a graphic designer, and it's a more casual look. Um, it's actually inspired by a look that David Beckham wore to a film yeah. premiere. Um, so it shows you that you can wear a tie with jeans, you can wear a tie with a sweater, it doesn't have to be worn with a suit. Tough act to follow though, David Beckham. It is a tough act to follow. All right, next uh, is the silk tie with a matching pocket square. It looks like uh, something cut right out of Wall Street right here. Well, this is a modern version uh, of a more European look. Yep. It's, I think of it more as like an art dealer or um, someone who would wear a kind of slightly more dandyish look, but in the navy, um, I think it tones it down and makes it contemporary. Nice to see a model smiling, too. Yeah. Way to go, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the wool tie. Now, your husband's British, so this is a, a popular British look as well, correct? It is. I mean, this is a more of an English kind of countryside look. My husband's actually an artist, and yeah. he's wearing ties for the first time in the 11 years I've been with him because... Uh, he's not expected to wear a tie, so he finds space to. And this is more about mixing, te mix mixing texture. Yeah. It's a wool tie, uh, worn with a check shirt and a striped scarf. It's something to think about for fall. Uh, let's bring out the skinny tie look right now. This is uh, this radiates cool. The skinny tie has been around for a while. Justin Timberlake wore it um, for his sexy back tour. But this is bringing it into a more traditional look and also flip-flopping the colors, having the white tie with the blue stripes instead of the blue tie with white stripes. It's a very Brooks Brothers look. How about the yeah. solid black tie now? The solid black tie. This is a look uh, <laughs> Come on guy. out. Don't be shy. This is more of a downtown look. I can yeah. see like film guys wearing it. Um, it's a throwback to the 50s cool look. Uh, kind of a rocker look with the yep. sneakers. Good night out look. And finally, the bow tie. Don't see this very often, but hey, well, this guy wears it pretty well. I think toning down the colors of a bow tie can look really great for an architect. Uh, not wearing it with a jacket, having more muted colors looks great. All right, Amanda Brooks, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you.